minutes participants. I'd like to thank UNESCO to this event is going through several crises one inequality and therefore we see the education is right now it is a period of collection for education regarding its future indeed we can look at education Society, we on there is a education as a common good. The idea of carried out in national consultations as a way of giving us a tool to be able to help humanity decide the future of education. The, this is also something that, of course, is being headed by United Nations agencies. This national consultation focused on each of the different um, areas or priorities, and there was a consensus that COVID-19 had had a major impact on education and a real impact psychologically on pupils and teachers. We therefore need to reflect on the education that existed before and the education that will exist after the pandemic. In 2021, our scientists were able to very quickly be able to um, produce the vaccines needed so that we could vaccinate all children over the age of 12. We have also had to improve the way that our schools are run so that they are environments that can promote health as well as the participation of everyone. We agree that curriculum should include key basic um, key basic skills related, for example, to digital um, technology. We also need to make sure that civic and political participation are included in, in curricula as well. We also focused in our country on the issue of education for sustainable development and education for the, and educating people for tomorrow's labour market. We also need to make sure that we are transforming education in our country with this in mind. We need to make sure that we can build capacity so that we can have hybrid models that allow for learning to take place continuously. We need to make sure that we are looking at cross-cutting issues so that we can have research um, initiatives that can help us to improve teacher training and the quality of teaching. We are focusing very much on technology in education and the different kinds of pl platforms that teachers can use and have at their disposal. This is something we're looking at a lot. In Cuba, 12.4% of our um, budget is ed dedicated to education. And all children have access to education in our country. Around 33% of those who were surveyed spoke about the major issues that they were facing in terms of um, problems linked to income. And this is another issue that we, of course, have to address. Ladies and gentlemen, Cuba has made many decisions to try and strengthen uh, our education system and make it resilient. Indeed, we believe that the summit that has been um, called for from the Secretary General gives us a clear responsibility to have to create a world that is 
um, one that is sustainable for today's and generation and for future generations. Thank you very much.